Good evening everyone, time for another member update. We're going to start out here on the free blog just to show you a post that I stickied at the top here. This is Grandma Yellen tanks the market. So this is the image that I took from a Netdania screenshot. And you can see where Grandma Yellen opened her mouth there. We were trading roughly around 16,350 on the Dow. Uh, big move down 100 points, rally back up, big crash. You can see how big that is. We're talking 16,340 down to 16,130. So that's a good 300 point swing. And then, of course, the plunge protection team comes in. Had to get real busy because can't let grandma crash the market. So there's um, Captain Kangaroo which is a pretty good uh, a close picture to Janet Yellen. Anyway, I'm going to spend this episode taking you down the rabbit hole, so I'm not going to be talking about markets here. I want to show you real quick here, there's this neat feature you can use that's in Chrome, and you can search Google for an image. Now, Google is not actually searching for the name of the image. It's actually looking for the image you can see right there. There's there's my image that it found here. No other sizes, but it it did it did pull that image. And uh, so we'll look at Janet's picture here and do a search for the image. And you can see it doesn't have a lot to do with the name. Here's all your Captain Kangaroo. So there's there's a lot of those. So keep that in mind. We're going to look at that in a little bit. But I wanted to begin to take you down the rabbit hole here. And again, this isn't about markets. This is about medicine. So if you're not interested in this one, just tune out. But I've covered this before. This is Max Rat's Deconstruction Zone. And uh, Max Rat, in my opinion, is uh, one of the most brilliant journalists out there today because he deconstructs. Max is using voice clips, and he spends hours and hours and hours assembling them together. If you listen to this cancer one, you'll find out that it is just a maze of rabbit trails of disinformation. This whole cancer story stinks to high heavens it is a in my opinion just to be honest with you it is a deceit it's a lie it's created by the pharmaceutical industrial complex it is a way of possibly I don't know it may be a way of actually wiping out large populations certainly it's not medicine and if you listen to the episode you'll see that but Let's look at this article here because this is fascinating to me. I keep a very close eye on these stories because I'm tuned into this cancer scam that the media is running. So this is a story that ran today on the Daily Mail UK, Mail Online. And this is a big site. This is the site you want to go to when you want pictures. Here's the story. This is a story about this girl, Sophie Jones, 19 years old. And what got me on the trail here, of course, is that it doesn't pass the smell test because it appears to be a push. Anytime you see a story break in the media and it's immediately connected with some type of political campaign or some other type of way of agitating for some type of change we'll say then that raises a lot of red flags so let's look at this here family releases shocking last picture of model 19 killed by cervical cancer after being refused a smear test by doctors because she was too young so here's your big issue and and the other articles in the media are even more direct basically what they say is that the doctors uh, that she was killed by the fact that we're not testing young girls for this so keep that in mind Sophie Jones 19 of Merseyside died of cervical cancer on Saturday 
She suffered stomach cramps and knew something was wrong with her, but doctors refused her cervical smear test because she was under 25. Doctors initially blamed it on Crohn's disease, but her condition worsened. She was admitted to the hospital in November and vowed to fight to the end. We always hear that with the cancer story. And then, of course, they kill them. So let's look at the details here. This is the shocking last picture of the 19-year-old aspiring model taken before she died of cervical cancer. Did she really die of cervical cancer, or did she die from the treatment the doctors gave her? after being refused potentially life-saving smear test because she was too young. Now, how does a smear test save your life? Sophie Jones of Easton Merseyside had suffered crippling stomach pains for over a year before she was initially diagnosed with Crohn's disease. It was claimed, but in November she was diagnosed with cervical cancer, which may have been picked up had the authorities listened to her pleas for a smear test, her family said. Now relatives have released the image in a bid to raise awareness. There's your big red flag that this is a media campaign and their subsequent campaign to lower the age at which cervical smear tests are offered. There's your big red flag. So that immediately struck me as suspicious. Now here's the picture that we have and my looking at that picture, the first thing that I'm going to ask is did this girl die of cancer or did this girl die of chemotherapy? You can see the statement shocking. Sophie Jones 19 east of Merseyside in a hospital after cancer had taken its toll on her body or was it that chemotherapy had taken its toll on her body. So now we want to do some investigative reporting. That's real simple. We know that in November she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And we'll see here, we got a lot of pictures of her. We've got modeling shots. This was a model. She was going to be a, a big star, a lot of selfies, stuff like that lot of information here kind of suspicious Photoshop looking thing here here's another picture here's more pictures here's supposedly a picture of her with her boyfriend so and another picture so we've got a lot to go on <clears throat> Miss Jones's family and friends are now calling for younger women to be offered cervical cancer screening so thinking about that and wanting to know initially if this is death from cancer or this is death from chemotherapy the first thing I wanted to see was some pictures of her in November when she was admitted because my suspicion was that the state that we're seeing her in here is probably not what she looked like in November I'd like to know when the chemotherapy started I'd like to know a little bit more details about the case so the first thing I decided to do is to investigate these pictures. Now this picture supposedly is the picture released by the family. Now remember I showed you that you can use Google search and again this searches for the image. It's not looking for the text description of the image. It's looking for the image itself. And you can see here there's about four pages of images. But we'll note here if you go down here these are all new. That's to be expected. That uh, the if we take the story at its face value, that these images, uh, this image was released by the family as the last photo of her. So that makes sense. That we can believe that. Now let's go to some of these others here. Notice we have this Tony Smith photography. We have modeling shots. Sophie Jones of East of Merseyside suffered crippling stomach pains for over a year before she was initially diagnosed with Crohn's, it was claimed. So here's her first modeling shot. Let's search for this image. We would expect, since this was this uh, Tony Jones uh, modeling agency, that maybe it was just released now to the public, possibly but there would at least be some record of this. Well, you can see here, they're all 18 hours ago, 13 hours ago. 
we don't have any evidence of that image. So let's go to this image and search Google for this image. And here is more links, but we find again a very small number of links. They all link back to the original story. Next image. This is, I would say, a somewhat controversial type of selfie, you would think. Uh, was it on Facebook? Not sure. Two days ago, 19 hours ago. Again, it's not there. The caption, Miss Jones was described by her sister, Stephanie, as a very calming influence on everyone around her. Let's search for this image. So we're now four images into this thing and we've been unable to find an image anywhere in the internet that exists before this story broke. The life and soul of everything Sophie Jones 19 has died of cervical cancer after being refused a smear test. Again, here's the agenda. And we'll search for this image. Very sweet picture of her. Certainly nothing that anyone would find to be offensive. Nope. Nothing. This image. There's the Daily Mail. There's online. Two days, three days, two days, three days, 19 hours ago. And here's a bunch of Oriental sites. But again, that image has never... So far, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six images that have never appeared anywhere on the internet before this date. Here is the family. Last Facebook picture. Miss Jones, who posted this photo two weeks ago, died early Saturday morning. Okay, so here's an update now. Very interesting here. You can see how she seems a lot thinner there. Kind of strange how Photoshop she seems in this picture, isn't it? All right, well, let's search for this image. Now, we actually have a Facebook link here. But again, all the rest of these are showing a day or two days ago. So this is basically new. There's nothing old. Uh, it was described as being two weeks ago, but we're not finding that. We can go to this Facebook link, supposedly her friend, perhaps, Stephanie Henry Griffin. I'm logged in to my brother John F. account. You can search. There's nothing on this page for that image, so I don't know why Google linked that, but it's apparently a dead end. Here's another image. Remember, she was admitted in November, so, and she had a Facebook page, we're told. So we would think that there might be some communication about her situation or updates. No, that image has never appeared on the internet before three days ago. Another image. Again, same thing. The first time this image ever hit the internet was a few days ago. This image. No other sizes. Two days ago. Can't find the image. And this image, Miss Jones pictured with her boyfriend, Jake Molyneux. Now you can research him, try to find a picture of her, not available. Search by image, nothing. And lastly, this picture. Again, same thing. This image and every one of these other images, including this image that was supposedly Tony Smith's photography, 
This image was Mercury Press and Media. This image was Cavendish, Cavendish, Mercury Press, Cavendish, 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 Cavendish Press, Cavendish Press, Cavendish Press, Cavendish Press. Who is Cavendish Press? Let's take a look here. Here's the home of Cavendish Press. Sell us your stories and pictures. Welcome to the brightest news feature and picture press agency in the UK. Bringing you the biggest news, gripping features, and the latest on the lives of the rich and famous. So this is a company that you sell your stories and your images to. Now it's really starting to stink. Now let me take you to this site here. This is called Tiny Eye. If you're not familiar with this, I'm going to show you how this is another image search that duplicates basically what Google Image Search is doing. It's looking at the exact details of the image itself. So let's reduce down and go to the desktop here and go back to Tiny Eye. And I'm just going to take this. This is annoying orange. Very annoying. Good thing to test with. We just drag and drop annoying orange right here onto tiny eye. And you can see there's annoying orange and all the web pages he appears on. There's the sublinks. It's very, very clear. They searched over 4.797 billion images. They've archived a vast majority of the images, if not all on the internet so that's how easy it is to search so let's go back to tiny eye and we'll take just one of the images now I did this with every one of these we'll drag and drop the image and guess what there's zero results so we're to believe that every single image that we have in this article appeared for the first time in this article and nowhere else on the internet now that is very suspicious it's even more suspicious when we look at the fact that we go over to Facebook this is my Facebook page we'll do a search for Sophie Jones now I know it's possible some people have explained that they believe in the past when we've had these false flags and things where some psychopath has shot up some school or something like that then they take down the Facebook of that person but it doesn't really make a lot of sense that if these people are doing a media campaign to promote these smear tests for young women that Sophie Jones Facebook page would still be up but guess what it's not here we can't find her Facebook page anywhere on Facebook we're told that she went through a long difficult process of battling cancer yet we're not finding her page now this is more than I found before I'm not sure why Facebook is putting this up now So if any of you can find the original Facebook page, maybe this is it. No. I have been unable to find the original Sophie Jones Facebook page. I'm going to have to do more research on that. So to summarize here, we have a campaign issued by the media I will say the fake media and 
the only evidence we have of this person's existence is this story and this story is connected to a campaign to screen young girls for cervical cancer the picture indicates to me that this is death by chemotherapy I'm sure you're all familiar with the fact that if you're receiving chemotherapy treatment the people who give you that treatment actually have to wear hazmat suits the materials have to be transported by hazmat I'm going to go so far as to say that they are now involved in genocide through this chemotherapy treatment and radiation treatment that they're doing. I have a big personal stake in this. My mother died of something similar to this. People in my family would not listen to me when I spoke about the fact that this is just death by doctor. But that is in fact what I believe it is and I also believe that this is actually a fake media story that is created to promote an agenda of increasing the revenues of these doctors doing very very painful smear tests on young women and this entire thing is gigantic media hoax and we'll talk to you next time